If you're a longtime viewer of the channel, you know that I love Amaranth. And uh, I love her so much, in fact, that I had subscribed to her OnlyFans and I made a video uh, re kind of reviewing it. And it was this kind of like five minute garbage uh, stream highlights that I did that wasn't very good. Um, and since then, it's been a little over two years and over a thousand subs later. And I thought you guys deserve. Uh, a revisiting of the subject. Um, one of my crowning achievements in life is the fact that Amaranth actually left a comment on that video, basically talking about how the content has drained, changed drastically, and uh, I should really check it out. And I, I was really proud that she saw the video, and looking back on it, I think she was just doing uh, a marketing tactic to, to get more people to see her stuff, and also making sure I wasn't kind of stealing her content, which, I mean, hey, game is game. So, I would just like to make this clear that uh, I don't want any hate towards Amaranth or anything like that. Um, I love her as much as you can, love a stranger, respect the hustle, think she's a wonderful businesswoman, wish her everything really in the best in life. Think of it as a job application to basically say, I think you could be doing better, Amaranth. I think I've been looking at the stuff, I've been looking at your old material, I've been looking at your new material, and I just think that maybe you need a fresh pair of eyes to spice in some things up. This video is going to be broken down into two parts. Um, there's going to be a pros section and a cons section. Because basically, Amaranth's been in the game for a long time, and there are things that she's doing that I really like, and there's things that she's doing that I don't like. And I want to kind of give adequate time to both aspects of this content. The pros. One pro of the content that people kind of overlook is that it's Amaranth. We're talking about a beautiful woman with absolutely bonkers proportions doing grueling sex work all the time. And people don't appreciate how hard you have to work to kind of to do something like that. It's a day in job 24 seven messaging back uh, all the losers who are DMing you all the time, all the Arabian princes and lonely men. Um, in addition to the photos, the social media, the videos, the clientele, constantly having to upkeep your body, you just don't really appreciate the effort put into, into this game. Just the fact that Amaranth takes the time, even if it is for money, you know, it's still... She clearly puts an effort in. She clearly cares a little bit about what she's trying to represent. I will say, since the release of my video two years ago, uh, Amaranth has gotten significantly more confident in her ability to show her body. She used to do this thing where she would tape her nipples over and stuff, or um, she wouldn't even use uh, some toys at times. It would just be like photos or, or something just kind of like really, she like really would go out of her way to cover her up, herself up like this. And she wouldn't do any sort of like dildo play or anything like that. Um, so she's come really a far way in terms of um, exposing herself to millions of people. And while I kind of briefly touched on this before, uh, the amount of hardcore stuff she's doing uh, and the frequency at which she's doing, it's, I don't know how sustainable it is long term, but you really got to give uh, props where they're due. Real recognizes real, right? Um, she's putting in the hours. Uh, I, I don't know if you guys have ever tried to shove sex toys inside of you or around you or near you uh, for hours at a time, hours a week, hours a day, whatever it is. It's not something that should be taken lightly. Um, no pun intended. The cons. Now we get to the part that I dread. Um, I love sex workers. You're not going to find a guy who loves sex workers more than me. And bringing up any sort of negativity, it's always tough because there's always the question of, oh, if you think you could do better or if you're critiquing him, why don't you go out and do better? But I mean, do I need to be a chef to say that my meal tastes like shit? Uh, I may not know how to pleasure another man. It shouldn't stop me from being able to give my two cents. And one thing I did want to bring up uh, when talking about this is I don't know what expectation Amaranth is trying to set. I don't know what bar she's trying to set because the porn industry is a very demanding industry. And there's an issue 
where sometimes women and men both alike they're kind of seen as meat they're not necessarily seen as people and pornography in and of itself it's a deviant act for sure but there are people out there who are kind of putting in the time putting in the effort to basically make porn more realistic uh there have been complaints that the porn industry basically kind of demifies sex or love making as some might say um and so there's an effort and a movement to make sex less about sex and more about intimacy and from where i'm sitting it's not a movement that picks up a huge amount of traction i think maybe they're snowballing a little bit but it's for the most part ignored because i mean let's face it when we're watching porn we want to see a girl put in a full nelson we want to see the guy doing insane feats of strength and fitness and the, the reason i bring it up is from where I'm sitting, Amaranth is purely about the bag. She's purely about making money. If she can make people happy while doing it, fantastic, great. But I don't think she's trying to make porn more realistic. I don't think she's trying to change the porn industry. I think she's only concerned with what makes her the most amount of money. Now, with that being said, my biggest gripe with Amaranth and her OnlyFans is Amaranth, the dick is fake. It's just so obviously fake. You use a little dildo in your in your videos, and it's a good, it's a hyper-realistic dildo. It's a good dildo. You can still tell it's fake. From a mile away, you can tell it's fake. It's just so obviously fake. I don't know how you can convince anybody that it's real. Uh, I would show it, but obviously, you know, YouTube. Um, another factor, uh, generally speaking, it's not a man in your videos. That's how you double know it's fake. There are times where... You are doing either, I don't know if it's POV stuff or zoomed out stuff. Um, you very strategically, generally, try not to show the guy in your videos. You use kind of sneaky angles to hide things that you don't necessarily want to deal with. And I get it. I mean, look, whatever makes you more com like the most comfortable and whatever makes you the most money, I'm sure it doesn't stop. It doesn't hinder the sales, I'm sure. But there are certain frames where you can see it. I mean, it's a woman's hand. There's like you have the person whose fake dick is attached to and you look at their hand and it's a woman hand. It's a woman's hand. It's the cleanest, most pedicured hands I've ever seen in my entire life. The cuticles are pushed back. The nail beds are flawless. Sometimes you'll even see their, their manicures, right? They have long nails still. Like, I mean, who are we fooling, Amaranth? We're not idiots. We may be kissless virgins, but we're not morons, right? We know when we're being had. Um, this doesn't happen all the time. There are times where you use a guy, right? You, you can see in thumbnails or you have certain angles or you kind of see the torso of a man or the legs of a man. Um, the dick is still fake, obviously, but, you know, tackle those problems when you get there. I mentioned it within the context of the dick and the, the, the man that you use in your videos. Uh, the, the angles are set up in such a way where it's actually very difficult to tell if there's any sort of vaginal penetration at all. I get like autistic with it, right? So I'm really looking, I'm really trying to see and figure out what the fuck is going on down there. And there's some stuff where you're just like, that has to be inside you, you know what I mean? But there's other times where you're watching the video, right? Or usually it's kind of, I don't know if it's doggy style or, or some other, but there are certain positions you have the camera set up and you're looking at it and you're like, you're just giving that dildo a thigh drop, you know what I mean? You're not doing anything. You're just kind of sitting there pretending to be aroused. And that's another issue that I kind of want to bring up is that your ability to fake it is really bad. You do not have a, like a con convincing O face or, or anything like that. I think you do great at softcore when you are on stream or whatever, on Twitch or on kick. I think you do a great job of kind of giving a hint of eroticism. But when you're in the thick of it, it's just really not that convincing at all. And some of the maneuvers you do with your hands or your body or you're like gyrating a certain way or doing something with your tongue, it, it almost leads me to believe that you've never pleasured a man in your entire life. I actually just have no idea. Like, it almost seems like it's like when you're eating out food, right, at a restaurant. And you could go to kind of the Michelin star taste testing menu and you have these like incredible flavors, right? But you're there for the three hour tasting menu and you're hungry at the end. You kind of go to the In-N-Out burger. You kind of need to go back to that basics of like, okay, you know, I'm still hungry at the end. I'm not satisfied with your video and what you're doing. Um, my last and sort of final complaint in contingency with the last one is you have this really annoying copyright free music that plays and it's really frustrating just because in addition to like you're you can't kind of you're not selling the fact that you're being aroused or erotic 
um, you got to be more vocal. You got to speak up. You got to make more noises. And having like your your weird like royalty free music in the background kind of randomly broken up by the occasional slap on the ass or something. It doesn't work. Um, and you kind of turn, turning it off in the middle of sex for your like half half grown moan thing that you're doing. It, it's just it's not a good look. Uh, I think that's all I have in my notes um, for this video. Uh, if you recall, Amaranth, I offered to play Mario Kart with you on stream. The offer still stands, if you're still interested, um, two years later. One thing I did want to mention, not addressing this to Amaranth, but just kind of anyone who will listen to the views, uh, porn is an addiction, right? Um, there are tons of studies on it. Uh, you really need to be careful about that type, that type of stuff, because it's not going to affect you the same way maybe cocaine or heroin will. You're not going to suck a dick to jerk off. But it will affect you in other aspects, in love, in life, in your relationships with women or men, depending on who you are. Um, and especially because we get exposed to it at such a young age, we maybe don't see it as problematic. But there are health ramifications. And uh, seek help if you think it's, this is something that applies to you. Not to me. I don't care, frankly. Um, not to be that guy. But uh, seek an seek a actual medical professional. Um, but, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um,